Hi, this is ASP Donate Pro MVC Learn and Practice Course. Today in this lesson, I will guide how to continue learning, create, read, update, and delist operation by using store procedures in ASP Donate Pro MVC. Today in part three, you will learn how to work with the controller in Visual Studio and ASP.NET Core MVC. Okay, let's get started. I will have the controller. Right click on this one, add, and click on the controller. Okay, so here I will select the option in MVC controller with read write action. Add. I will name it student. Enter. It will automatically install some necessary libraries from the Nougat into our project. You see, it will automatically generate some the action here for us. Index, detail, create, and edit, delete. We are going to update the code for each action here. The first one it should be the index. Let me open the solution. And I will create the index. It will be the first one I will need to create some instance for the database contact. I will need to view it. And then add some reference using the my first dot contact. So here I will have the instant e my first the net that way as earlier it will be db db contact equals a new my first and then open the index action i will have the lead of the student here lead student oh sorry student i will need to import using the my first dot model okay i will have student lead equal db contact dot get all student convert it to lead and we will return the lead student finish this one and then I will have the detail. In the detail, I will have the ID. Okay, so here I will use something. Okay, let me show. I will check something here. Uh, return view. Okay, give it this one. If the ID is known, we will return not found. As why we create new instance for a student. It will be student equal new student equal db contact those to get student by ID provide ID for this one. Check if student equal known and then we will return return to not file. Okay, otherwise we will return the student. This one is ID. Okay, so here, let me see what. Give this one. So here, I will have the student create. I will have a create option. So first one is the action in create. When the user click on create, it will already return the view of in blank. We will keep this one at default. And I will update the port method for this one. Here I will have create and we have by we have student and student. 
chai if model started dot e valid db dot a uh, career student provide student and return to redirect to direct redirect to action <coughs> the back to the index index and this one when we create new user any new user we back to the index view understand right okay so here i will delete this one and then i will return return the view of the student the next step we are going to write the code for edit for the edit when the user click on any user i mean student for editing the information we need to return the existing value of the student so indeed uh, left this one is blank and default we need to write the code here for get student by id i mean i will copy the code of the detail it should be the same For this one should be the same. Oh sorry, 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 great. It should be the edit. Okay. And then we go to write the code for edit method. In the port, when we submit the object of the student to update the information. Okay, so here I will have a HTTP port variation anti fraud to give token okay, ID and here we do some the binding for the student for the student in student try to write code here I will have a if ID equal noon dot return return not file oh sorry And we do check if the mode uh, state the e valid is will be the db dash update student student and then we return and is return redirect to action e like okay copy the name here return and then here we need to return the view it will be the student the db db contact okay give this one okay so view the next step i will write the code for the d list so for the d list i will try to copy the code here in the get the student by id copy great and edit yeah this one in the delist i will have the option here okay ready here so here i will have id equal known Return not file student db contact custom id if student known return not file otherwise return to the view okay it is enough and the next one i will have another method is delist action result delist and here i will have a http port validate anti forest key 
for Zerki and here I will have delete confirm okay confirm provide the ID just ID and for the HTTP post I will write this code for the action name action name it will be the delete copy this action here delete okay and in this one I will try to db contact dot delete the student and provide the ID and then return it to the action index okay ID And if I will be returned to view, okay. I will view this solution. Okay, so let me see. It will be equal. Equal. Zero. Or something like this. Okay. Copy. Oh, sorry. Replace on. What? What happened? What? Okay. I will remove some the three and then view the solution again. Do some question here. Read only any suggestion. No, no. Back. Okay. View. Okay. So we should have some time for break, and then we will continue learning in the next lesson. Thank you.